Documentum is an enterprise's content management platform. It is a document management software, which means that it provides a vault in the which to store your documents, rather than keeping their important files on the file server. Companies put them in the document management systems. Let's jump to the today's main topic. How to create multiple repository in Documentum 6.5 and grant access to the user. Uh, you can see here there is already two repository. In this video, I am going to create third repository and grant access to the users. My version of Documentum is 6.5, which is service back to but this method applies to the all versions of the documentum let's jump into it go to your c drive documentum folder or wherever you install the documentum uh, in my case there is in c drive documentum product select your version and install and run server configuration program initializing wizard okay next provide your system password click on next okay I don't have license for this enable high volume servers and I'm going to create a default here I will select custom configuration next and here I am going to create a new repository only if you want to create a new connection broker and repository you have to select both but uh, I'm gonna use uh, same connection broker but different uh, repository so that is one next create new repository if you want to upgrade repository you have to select this one if you want to delete any repository select here but uh, I'm going to create new repository next all defaults directory name default everything is in default repository name demo repo uh, enter your repository ID that must be with numbers uh, between 0 to 16777215 so I will choose this one demo repo this is my description and this is fine repository size you can select repository size, uh, size from here small medium large or custom size uh, medium is fine for me and authentication domain is this is my document um, 6 this is a single system if your system is connected to the domain you need to select the domain here but uh, this is my standalone system uh, that's why this is my server name next connection broker port this is the default port and uh, connection broker host is this is my system that's fine A native next if you have already created ESQL server user account and database you can select from here but uh, I'm going to create new ESQL server account and database create new next uh, ODBC database source name is that's fine database username demo repo that's fine select your choose your password and this is my database name provide your database administrator name and password 
these are the data file path and log file path this is default and you can see the script here if you want to change something you can change from here but uh, I'm not going to change anything that's fine for me so create database next this is also same if you want to change anything in this uh, script you can make changes here and save and run again but uh, for me it is fine uh, server initialize and file next you need to provide your SMTP server name this is my demo so SMTP dot document m6 demo repo is my username so demo repo at the rate document m6 next okay just document m6 dog base head start Repository demo repo has been created successfully. To use clients with this repository, you must install the correct gear. Okay. Next. Now it is executing the audit default scripts. Okay, this is finished. Server configuration program is finished and it says exit from the server configuration and I don't have any additional repository for the creation so that exit from the server configuration next starting java method server instance okay that's fine yeah this is the summary which I created the repo dog base name is this one database name database connection dog base is this one and dog base is demo review this is new one yeah this one username demo repo finish and let's check services are started or not This is started and let's check in database server. Yeah, database is also created. Now I'm going to try to log in here. Refresh the page, and there is demo repository. Username is and password is. login oh it says we we are for the authentication failed for that you have to create the same user in this system which you created in database in database there is the user name this one demo repo so if your system is connected to the domain you need to create this user in domain controller this is my single system so I will create in this system new user username demo repository and provide the same password when you create it in database
you have to create same username and same password close now I'm going to try to log in again retry yes it is logged in now this is demo repository let's try one more time select your repository enter your login name and provide your password yes thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you